So thank you for being here. Not uh, a problem. Thank you for uh, helping, uh, for just being here in this process and, and, and talking to us about it. You want to tell us, you, you tell the story of essentially how we met. Sure, it was um, back in, on October 2nd, 1999. Uh, my son was on a hike with some, some friends and he vanished on the hike. And it, it was a difficult time. We were desperate trying to find out what, what could have happened to him. Uh, there was a big search in the works. And throughout the search, the search lasted five days. And at the time, my, my son was never found. When, when, when Jared disappeared, it was a frustrating week. It was a week where mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of things happened, a lot of just more questions than answers. And when you're in that type of situation, you become desperate. You become a person looking for help in any, any place you can. And uh, it was nice because I drove down the mountain a Saturday a week after Jared disappeared. And I didn't know what to expect when I got home. I was going back to a home where my son was gone. And the house wasn't quite as loud as it used to be. And, and it was painful. I remember walking into the closet for the first time and seeing his dirty clothes there and looking at the bathtub and seeing his toys sitting right there and not knowing if I would ever see my son ever again. And you're helpless and you're hopeless. But I eventually went to my phone and picked up my phone and started listening you know, to several messages that had been left for me and one of the people on the other end was Congressman Tancredo. And I remember perfectly what he said. He said, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Please let me know. And to think that there was somebody out there that was willing to step out of what they were doing to try to help me find the answers or find out what may have happened to my son was just incredible. It was, it brought me a sense of hope and a sense of, uh, of excitement because I knew there was somebody there that wanted to help me. And I had no idea who I was meeting at the time. And when I, when I met Congressman Tancredo, I realized that he was probably one of the most sincere people I, I had ever met. And he was there for me at any time. I could call him and he was there. He, he didn't put me off. It wasn't, uh, tell him I'll call him back. He was always there. He's been there for my family for the last 14 years. And at the same time, there is nothing that didn't happen in a positive way that didn't happen through Congressman Tancredo. Yeah. And I just really appreciate getting to know the Congressman at the same time. Like he said, it, it, it's the fact that I know him and the fact that I know of his heart and know of his compassion and know the fact that he likes to step out and help people. He's, he's not just somebody that you hear his name or somebody that's out there. He's a real individual and a person that brings comfort when it's hard to find comfort.